With Bethesda breaking the press conference stagnancy of E3, we wanted to look at what the publisher has up their sleeve and what we might expect from both Bethesda and others at the E3 press conference this summer. We'd be remiss without starting this list off by mentioning Fallout 4. All signals now point to a reveal on the big stage E3 thanks to Bethesda's conference being announced. This is arguably Bethesda's biggest IP minus the Elder Scrolls series and we're expecting a big announcement and this might even be the reason the conference was set up in the first place. We've all been waiting for the announcement and this seems to confirm that we should be hearing more about Fallout 4 very soon. Expect a big blowout with gameplay shown and features detailed. Yes it might be a long shot, but 2015 winter release could still be a possibility for Fallout 4 so fingers crossed we'll see a lot of information about this game and a possible release date as well. Moving on to another potential announcement is Dishonored 2. The game has been rumored to be announced since 2014, with speculative box art being leaked as well. Arcane Studios has ceased their work on Prey 2, and all eyes are on what they're going to be doing next. Expect at very least announcement and some gameplay to back this up. The game is likely set for a 2016 release if the E3 2014 fact sheet that was leaked is said to be true, but regardless we're very excited to see where this series is going next and what we'll be doing in Dishonored 2. Next up is the safer bet in Battlecry. The online multiplayer shooter was shown off from Battlecry Studios at last year's E3 and has an imminent release date of 2015 sometime. Bethesda as the publisher will likely want to show this game off on the big stage and also fill up their press conference, so Battlecry has a really good chance of getting some more airtime and some gameplay shown off too. This leads to another game being published by Bethesda and that is Doom, or Doom 4. The game has had some tumultuous times over the past couple of years, but with an E3 teaser last year, name change and behind closed doors showing at QuakeCon in 2014, Doom is set for the main stage at Bethesda's E3 conference this year. Given the time between the teaser and the direction change in 2013, Doom should be shown off with gameplay and details galore. If true, this will add even more firepower to Bethesda Softworks' upcoming games and the showing of what they'll have at E3. Besides these announcements, there's a few other things that could happen at the press conference, although unlikely that I wanted to mention. Details on the new Elder Scrolls could be released, but following the cycle of what's happened in the past, it's probably not going to come for a couple of years. Same goes for details of Machine Games, the creator of Wolfenstein, the New Order's next project. They have finished up their project not too long ago, and expecting something else from them too is probably a little bit too soon. Also, never doubt a surprise is E3 is the perfect place to reveal something new. Although this is a lot harder to predict, the spread of Bethesda as a publisher has grown to the point that multiple studios might be up to something new. That wraps up our thoughts on what may be coming from Bethesda at E3 in 2015. Let us know in the comments what you think Bethesda will announce and if another press conference is a good idea. Thanks guys for watching.